So something I wonder, is there anything that could change your mind on Donald Trump? Is there any piece of evidence that could come out that would change your guys' mind? No. No? Sometimes it makes me feel weird, though, when, like, we can look at every court case with Trump-appointed judges that disagree with you, you say they're rigged. We look at studies that disagree with you, you say the studies are fake. We look at all of the media that disagrees with you. Even Fox News lost the lawsuit to Dominion, and you say they're in bed with each other. So it makes me worried. Who's Fox News owned by? Who, are you going to say BlackRock or what? China or what? BlackRock. He didn't do anything illegal. You don't think so? He, he has the ability and the freedom of speech to ask if the votes were counted correctly. Well, it's not just freedom of speech. He tried to gather fake electors to replace the real ones in states like Georgia. I just wonder, too, I mean, how come almost everybody I know of that went to college is a Biden supporter? Yeah. And I don't understand how everybody is a Biden supporter if you just went to college. So what are they teaching in this college? Are they teaching anything? Stuff like inclusivity and respecting other people, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, well... Yeah, wokeness, yeah. Huh. Why is it that the more educated people are, the more they vote Democrat? Huh, huh. Oh my God, you're so close. <laughs> okay, guarantee you over 100 million Americans are going to vote for Donald Trump, okay? Because they know he's the only one. That would be more than voted for him in 2020. A absolutely, he, he won. We all know this, right? How do you know it? Yeah, because what did the communists do? The Marxist communist Democrats went to state, uh, to courts. They used the virus to inflame fear. They went to courts and judges and changed the election laws illeg illegally using courts and judges to mail-in voting and early voting, The only, which is uh, illegal. But a lot oh. of these judges were appointed by Donald Trump. Which is illegal. It has nothing to do with that. What they did was illegal, okay? It's a violation of your constitution and your uh, um, uh, separation of powers. Only the state legislators can change election laws. So making it a fraudulent election even before it happened. How come none of the judges and none of the courts after the election agreed? Why? Because they've infiltrated. These same people that we were talking about early, dirty people, they've infiltrated everything, right? That last man is why education is so important. The Democratic Party has been completely co-opted by Marxists, but it isn't party politics. It's the goose that lays the golden egg. It's absolute corruption. That's why Donald Trump is so hated. He came to Washington, D.C. Because he's not corrupt? Well, yeah, he, yeah, he, he came to Washington, D.C. when he was first elected president. I, I don't know what's in his mind. I don't think he expected it. What the fact is, they, they say we should revere that. They say we should revere that Capitol building. I don't. What that Capitol building is in D.C., it, it's the largest brothel in the world. Most, with few exceptions, most of the representatives in there are whores, and they're whoring themselves out to communist China. They're out for their own profit, for their own money. They have no concern for America. It, it's it's personal wealth and 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 power. Can you, also, can you also say that they're whoring themselves out to corporations and all the lobbyists? Without a doubt. Without a doubt, they should. Uh, th th Donald Trump came to town and, and couldn't believe it, and saw them on their knees, whoring themselves out, and he started sl uh, uh, figuratively slapping them in the faces, telling them, "Get on your feet and act like Americans, for God's sake." And that's why they wanted to destroy him. Oh my God, you're so close! You're so close, and then you just swerved off the road. What are you doing? You were killing it, man. <laughs> I, sometimes the conspiracy theorists. Uh, it's based in like a just a nugget of truth. It starts up with the you know, and then, or sometimes you know, it's actually based in delusion, like this. COVID goes back to the, how they how they stole the uh, the election. It was all premeditated, pre-planned. How come the courts, not a single court out of these seventy cases, none of the judges, many of them Trump judges, ruled in the favor of people who believe that the election was stolen? Well, who told you that? Well, the judges in their rulings said all of that. And. How do you know that? Because they issued public opinions and rulings and because... Where did you hear that? Well, we heard it from the judges. You heard it from the judges themselves? Yeah, they issued rulings and opinions in open court. On, on the news? Or did you read the They, on, on their dockets? Well, we have judges in place all over the country. Um, some are from, are from the deep state, some are from President Trump. And in the process 
of them denying those rights, well, then you go to the next judge, you go to the next judge, and exposure comes, and exposure comes, and it's coming right now. But exposure hasn't happened yet. Oh, it's happening. Oh, yes, it is. You have to get off the news. You have to go someplace else and find it. Can you party. point to me a single judge that has ruled that the election was stolen or that there was malfeasance that would have overturned the results of any state? Look at the Supreme Court. Well, the Supreme Court hasn't accepted any of these cases either. How do you know that? Because they have a docket and they list what cases they review and they issue their opinions. If you choose to believe that, you can believe that, but I have alternative news and I find out differently. Conspiracy theories are always changing and evolving. When I go to Trump rallies, I have to like take the temperature. I have to talk to a few people to be like, what's, you know, what's the new conspiracy that Trump just dropped? And it's always something just way, you know, Obama, homosexual, Michelle Obama, trans. And you're like, whew. Um, all right, now that I got that, let's uh, do some interviews. Like, whew. And I get why conspiracy theories are fun for some people, but I think what is, you know, well, behind every conspiracy theory is just straight-up anti-Semitism. Let's just, I mean, talk to a flat earther. They get to the Jews in, like, seconds. But my my personal thing is, you know, we don't teach people about capitalism. So you have all these people thinking, well, you know, capitalism would work. Our economic system would work. I mean, if it wasn't for these people at the top, you know, Jews, you know, and you know, so it, I feel like they don't have, we have the boogeyman of capitalism. They don't have a boogeyman. So they just, you know, it's like, uh, Jews, Jews. It usually goes there. I, I don't know. Don't yell at me for saying that. I, I'm just telling you, yeah. Woo!